Salim Mahaja, the controversial former deputy mayor of a Sydney council, is in more strife with his businesses going belly up. As Tom Steinford reports, two property development companies have been placed in the hands of administrators. He loves the high life, but now Salim Mahaja is running low on cash. Have you got anything to say to those people that you owe money to? The 31-year-old has always loved to portray the image of being a business baron who's rolling in money. There's the fast cars and those holidays to Monaco, Venice and the Middle East. And of course, who could forget the infamous lavish wedding featuring a fleet of helicopters and sports cars. But the good times are now seemingly over. Documents obtained by Nine News show Mahaja's two property development businesses, Sydney Project Group and SET Services, are in dire financial trouble and have this week been placed in the hands of administrators. Where's all your money gone? Salim faced court today on unrelated charges, still wearing gold-rimmed glasses and carrying his designer man bag. How did your business end up in administration? It's just another chapter in the fall from grace for this controversial character who once bizarrely announced he wanted to be Prime Minister. He's currently on trial, accused of electoral fraud to win his place at Auburn Council. He's also facing charges of assault after this nasty run-in with a female TV reporter. Mahaja's much-publicised marriage has fallen apart and now his business empire appears to be crumbling too after last year being banned from being a company director to safeguard the public interest, now comes administration. Well, it's been a long time coming. I think we've uh, there have been stories around for a while about the gradual unravelling of these businesses. Salim Mahaja today declined repeated requests to reveal just how much money his businesses are owing and how many people have been left out of pocket. Responsibility for solving those problems now falls squarely at the feet of these newly appointed administrators. Tom Steinford, Nine News.